living, 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 just enough, living, just for the city. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to New Jack City. Today, we're going to be talking about Frank Ocean. Now, as y'all know, there's only two artists in this world right now that I favor, that's on my cell phone, that's my ringtone, that I like the most. Like, literally, I listen to them. I mean, I don't listen to them every day, but I do listen to them. I do listen to them often. And those two people is obviously Omarion and Frank Ocean. And I've been waiting on some Frank. I don't know if, I mean, most people who like Frank Ocean are like kind of stands, like like they're like Frank Ocean stands, like myself. I'm a Frank Ocean stand. I can say it. I'm proud to say it. I ain't tripping. But most of us has been really waiting on music. Now, unfortunately, we all know what happened. R.I.P. to his brother. Rest in power. Rest in peace. But his brother did get into a fatal car crash. I believe it was last. I believe it was last year, or a couple, or maybe six months ago. It was. It was. No, no, no. It wasn't last year. I don't even think it's been a year yet. But it's been a couple months since that's happened. So we kind of already knew that Frank Ocean was going to be staying low because, as y'all know, like when he drops the album, it looks like every time he drops the album, it's like probably like every four to five years, kind of. It's very yeah. It's very. It's not consistent. Let's just say that. But when he does drop an album, obviously it's always heat. So we were thinking that I was thinking, I'm not going to say we speak for myself. I was thinking it was going to be the same exact thing that Frank Ocean was going to be dropping an album close to like close to either this year or next year. Because it was like almost hitting that five to six year mark. I believe it's been the last time he dropped the album was 2015. So yeah, I think it was. It, I think it's been already like six, five, six years now, six, seven maybe. But you know, when the whole thing happened with his brother, I was already, I was already like, oh yep, we probably won't get another album for. We will probably won't get another one for another two more because he's gonna, he's gonna mourn this, which is fine. Um, when it's come to your family members, definitely his brother, because it was, that was his only brother, and I know they were super close. I totally understand. Um, yeah, I ain't stopped saying I'm sorry about that, y'all. But yeah, totally understand. It's very crazy, but he did the unexpected. We all thought, like myself, that he wasn't going to be talking to nobody. He wasn't going to be dropping no songs. He wasn't even going to give us an update or anything. And it looks like Frank Ocean just dropped his jewelry his jewelry uh boutique i guess you can call it i don't know it's kind of weird anyway he's making jewelry and he's going to right now is a kind of like an online store but it's pretty dope because he talked about this in an interview i believe it was a gq interview he talked about he was going to his goal was to make jewelry for you know regular people like myself and then also famous rappers and the way he's marking this is basically like he's going to have he's going to have jewelry for people that can afford it like myself like the regular you know well i'm not a regular nine to five but the regular nine to five person could afford his jewelry and also he's going to have the high-end luxury jewelry to where people could you know go in there and you know spend you know blow a bag on it so it's called homer's frank osher's homer store let me read this thing real quick for y'all. What is Homer, you ask? Well, according to the extremely straightforward Q&A sent in the press release, Homer is an independent American luxury company found by Frank Ocean, simply enough. More specifically, Homer is multi-faced effort unrelated to Frank Ocean's molasses drip musical output, citing inspirations from childhood obsessions and heritage as a fantasy the release continues i could keep reading but i'm not going to keep reading but yeah he's going to have 18k jewelry 24 karat gold um he's going to be making pieces i also think he's not only making jewelry pieces but he's also going to be making like kind of like a like a fashion type thing too so it's 
it's very it's very interesting that he's doing this but i'm curious i'm i just you know why i think everyone loves frank ocean so much is because he's one of those artists which a lot of artists try to be but they can't because they only come they only come it's only a few that can do it tyler the creator okay so I wouldn't, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. I've always thought this. I don't know if anyone has said it online yet, but I'm just gonna claim it now. Tyler the Creator is a musical genius. That's why he's so weird. Haven't y'all noticed? If there's a, there's a very, it's a trend. People who are musical geniuses, hell, people are just geniuses in general. They're usually very freaking weird. They're always, they say stuff that's very just out the way. You don't really get them all the way, and then they always kind of stay secluded. They have their per they have their own personal friends, and you don't really hear too much about them. Frank Ocean is one of those people. I believe he's one of those musical geniuses. Now, I know he used to write his music. I do I do know that Channel Orange he had help with the writing process with that, but I do know he used to write a lot of his past music, and obviously you know he gave music he gave. Uh, Beyonce songs and other people's songs too, right? That are still that makes that that are still hits. But I don't know if he's been dry, writing his current music. But having that being said, Tyler Creator is a musical genius. I don't care what no one says, and I'm probably the first one who probably said that on YouTube. But he's definitely a musical genius. But the people who are geniuses, like like Frank Ocean, let's let's just get to Frank Ocean real quick. They usually don't give you too much. When they have something to say, they say it in their music. And when they put their music out, it's always a treat. It's like getting a candy from the candy store. You want to savor that Snicker bar for as long as you want. Because you know the next time you get a Snicker bar is going to be for a while. So you got to savor it while it's, while it's there. That's how I see Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean, he gives us doses. and But when he gives us a dose, when he gives us, because we've been feeding so much... We are, we're very appreciative, but he goes away, and then we're and then we're wondering like where is he? Like I don't like nobody knows where Frank Ocean is at. He don't do interviews. This dude stay. It looked like he just stayed locked up in the house. And then when he does when he does release something like Homer and stuff like that, the whole fashion thing, it's like you know it's news. Everyone's trying to cover it. Everyone's trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And mind you, this dude is independent. He's not even signed to a label. And he's still able to make this much noise. Frank Ocean is, he's a treat, man, for sure. And that's this is one of the reasons why he's one of my favorite artists. But yeah, how do y'all feel about the whole Frank Ocean Homer store? I'm very interested to see when this thing is going to drop and how much the pieces are. I'm actually interested to see what he actually is going to be making. Because obviously, if he makes some dope pieces, I'm a, like, again, I'm a big jewelry person. So I love jewelry definitely gold I, I feel like gold just looks good on black skin period and it definitely looks good on me so if he got some cool pieces i'm definitely gonna cop some but if frank ocean don't got no dope pieces just know i'm not gonna cover that because i'll never talk bad about frank ocean but i just won't cop it <laughs> but anyway how do y'all feel about him releasing this store this homer store do y'all think it's a good idea do y'all think it's cool or y'all gonna buy some pieces let me know in the comment section make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel all right i'll see y'all next time Bye. living living just enough living just for the city living 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 just enough